Hey y'all, welcome back. Today I want to answer a question that I get asked quite a bit during trapping season. Alright, so the question is, how do I kick the cows out of my cow sets when I'm trapping in the cow pasture right in there with the cows? And I trap a lot in cow pastures with the cows. Now first of all, there's a couple reasons cows step on traps. And you got to figure out which reason they're stepping on your traps in order to find a solution. You got to take that reason away. So if you set up a new farm and uh, you come out the next morning, you see a big old cow print right in your trap, trap set off. Well, that's pretty much it. Maybe one or two traps the first day or so. The reason they stepped on it more than likely is because they was nosy or curious and uh, trying to figure out what it was and they stepped on it. And when that happens, there's really nothing I do about it. That's gonna happen occasionally. And usually when they're stepping on it for that reason, they only do it a time or two and I have no more issues the rest of the season. Maybe every once in a blue moon, but that's about it. But if you come out to your trap and the uh, trap set off and there's all kinds of cow trap tracks all around your trap, basically it almost looks like a cat circle with cows. And uh, if you're using dirt holes and dirt holes lit completely clean. And when that happens, that's when you know you got a bigger problem. They'll go through every set you got and just destroy it. And, and drool everywhere and lick, try to get the bait and lure. And that's when you probably got, uh, in most baits and lures, got something in it that tastes salty to them. Uh, even the urine that you buy. Uh, it's got something in it that tastes salty to them. That's what they're trying to get more than likely. So what do you do? Change baits and lures? No, I don't do that at all. I don't change my baits. I don't change my lures. I use urine in the cow pastures just like I do anywhere else. It, what I've tried to figure out is I've had a couple farms I trapped I've had that issue. A couple of other farms I trap, I don't have any issues. So what I what I've done is try to figure out what the difference is. There's got to be something different between these cows and those cows. Other than sometimes the younger cows are more curious and they they'll step on them more often for that reason. But that's not uh, there was something else that was different. So I got to looking and uh, the cows just don't bother my sets. Other than the first day or two, they might step on one or two and you'll see one track in it and that's it. I notice those cows have readily available salt mineral blocks or salt mineral licks. They can get to anytime they want. The cows that are stepping on my traps and licking everything clean and drooling everywhere, they didn't. So what I done is I asked the farmer, I said, hey, you mind? I said, uh, there's something in my base and lures that the cows keep wanting and they're craving and they just destroy my sets and I can't catch no collets because the cows are destroying them every night before the collets get to them. I said, you mind if I go buy me a, a salt mineral block and throw out there for the cows? So that's what I done, I went to, you can go to Bertman's, TSC, Southern States, depends where you're at, go to any feed store that sells uh, salt mineral blocks for cows. Don't get the one for the deer, get the one for the cows. Put that block out there and the cows just filled up on that salt, got all the salt mineral they want. They're just readily available for them. And they pretty much completely left my sets alone the rest of the season. So my best advice is spend a few bucks. It's worth it to keep, take, keep the cows away from your sets. Throw out a fresh mineral salt block and that really helps in that case. Or it has, that's in my experience, it's really helped. Uh, so that's what I do to uh, keep the cows out of the sets. I know it sounds crazy, simple, stupid, simple, but uh, it really has an effect. And if, they, if they're already filled up and they got all the salt and stuff that they crave, by the time they get to your sets, it's not worth it to them to try to get that little bit of salt out of that dirt hole, around that dirt hole, when they can just go to the salt block and get all they want. Now there's a couple other things that you can do that I think helps. One of those things is if you're uh, trapping in a cow pasture, if cows have been in that pasture for a while, you'll see distinct cattle trails that the cows use. And they make those trails for a reason because that's where they like to walk when they're going from food to water, water to food, or what have you. And uh, what I've, another thing that I do is most time the cows use those trails too, so it actually helps you catch more cows as well. I'd rather sit right beside the cow pasture versus sitting out in the field where the cows are grazing. Or they're out there grazing, eating grass, their feet's going everywhere, and they're more apt to step on your traps. Most time, if I sit right beside the cow path, and I catch a lot of cows there anyway, the cows 
when they're on that path, they're going, they're going somewhere. They're either going from food to water, water to food, food to bedding or whatever. They're going somewhere and they got, they're on a mission. And most time, when you sit right beside the path like that, I found that the cows walk right past your sets and hardly ever step on them. A couple of things I try to do to keep the cows out of my sets. Other than that, like I say, I haven't found anything that's 100% uh, effective. Every once in a while, you're going to have one stepped on. If they're just destroying your set, and uh, check to see if they got a salt mineral block out. If they don't, ask the farmer if it's okay. Sometimes you ask them, they're like, yeah, I got one right here, just hadn't had time to drop it off, take that one. But go to your feed store, spend a few bucks. It's worth it to keep the cows out of your sets. Hope that helps someone out there. I just want to get on here and answer this question. I get this question a lot on my Facebook and on my YouTube channel throughout trapping season. So I'll catch y'all next one. Thanks for watching.